What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are on the water today on the little boat, on the little ship, and we are ready to go on a big mission. We've got a really big day today because I'm trying to make it out later to the sandbar with some friends. So I'm trying to get this video done for you guys. We got to shift Limbani the chimpanzee this morning, which means we got to go to the zoo, which means if we're on the boat on the water right now, what are we doing? I'm Landon Cher, and if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Today we are going to be feeding the lion pride at the zoo. Probably just one lion, probably a little snack because we're after the lionfish. One of the craziest fish in the world. It's so beautiful to look at, but down here in South Florida these fish are invasive and they're a huge problem. But let's take off and I'll talk about it more once we get to the spot. Alright, so we are out here trying to find the first spot. We've got these areas um, where there's these shallow wrecks and these fish love to hang out on these shallow wrecks. We've got a boater coming. Everybody's out today. It's a beautiful Saturday right before the 4th of July. So I'm going to try to find this spot. Hopefully we'll be able to see it from the boat and then we'll jump right in the water. These fish are not very quick. They like to harbor themselves around the wrecks. What is this right here? Very hard to find these spots sometimes. If you have the mark just a little bit off, it could take a little bit. So once we find it, we'll anchor up and hop in the water. Five minutes later. A little dunk of the mask. We have found the first spot. Like I said, I do not know if there's any lionfish on this. The goal would be to find one, but hopefully these spots are not covered in lionfish. Like I said, they are invasive. So they're a huge problem here. We actually don't want to see them, but I have a feeling we're going to because they spread so rapidly. Let's get in the water. Water in my ears. Woo. So we checked it. Bunch of big, beautiful nurse sharks down there. I actually shot a grouper, and that might be in another video if we feed it to the lions or something like that. So you guys will stay tuned for that. But there was a little lionfish there. Not quite big enough to feed the lions, but I think we're gonna come back here and catch it and put it in the fish tank. So if you guys wanna see that, you gotta subscribe to the channel. I'm a saucer videographer there. Let's uh, go to the next spot. Here at the next spot, let's check it out. We've got a bunch of lionfish on this wreck. Guy right here was way too big, but now, we're gonna use this guy because this is the lionfish getter. Let's see what happens. Look at this. Decent sized lionfish. They definitely get bigger than this, but this is the biggest one of this spot. We got the bucket right here. Ooh, he's gonna go in there. Check this out, guys. Now, I'm pretty sure that the shot I put on him put him out, but look at this crazy looking fish if you've never seen one before. And hopefully I don't get spined right now. That would really mess up my day. We've gotten him off the shaft and we've put him in this bucket here. Now, this fish is a gorgeous fish, guys. I would love to have them in my fish tank. Those little ones that you guys saw on the wreck are just beautiful fish, and I would love to have those guys in the tank, so we'll probably be coming out to catch those guys soon. They're not quite big enough to feed out to anything. These guys are territorial. They take over those little wrecks. They'll eat everything that they can fit into that mouth and stuff that tries to eat them, they're protected. They have 18 big spines. You can see the spines on the dorsal fin there and the pectoral fins there. After we uh, go to the zoo, we could look at them a little bit better once we uh, dissect them and see what's in that belly. Look at that big stomach there. He's definitely got a belly full of all sorts of native organisms. Native fish and crabs and shrimp and anything from here which is competition for our native wildlife. So these guys really do need to be removed. I don't really find joy in this but I think that the lions are really going to enjoy this actually because it is some good enrichment for them. Fish is actually very healthy for these cats for multiple 
multiple different reasons. Let's get over to the zoo because we are kind of in a rush and we've got to see little Limbani. And would you look at that, we're here at the zoo. And now we can take a much closer look since we can touch him here. Look at these crazy, basically hypodermic needles right here. They are covered by this beautiful fin-like sheath. He's got all these different spines that run down here, 13 on the top, and then he's got a pair of them on each of these pectoral fins, and then he's got three on the anal fin as well. Just crazy looking as you go through this guy, and the pattern on him is beautiful as well. He's just got the biggest mouth to gulp up any prey item, and like I said, these guys can get about this big to where my hand is um, they can get pretty massive and they just take over their area which is like their lion if you come over here so as i was saying like our lion kids behind us they're just waking up this morning we've already gone out on the boat launched the boat docked the boat drove all the way over here and these guys are still waking up lazy kids but one of them is going to be able to get the treat after we take the meat off of this it just wouldn't be safe to give this whole thing with the venom glands to these cats, they would definitely get poked, and even a lion, something as tough and strong as a lion, could be affected by this little guy right here. And if you guys see, he's got so many spikes. A venomous snake like a cobra only has two big fangs coming out of its mouth. This guy spreads out those fins, as you saw in the video, and that's how they get their name, the lionfish. It's like that big mane that Max has over here behind us. and. Like I said, these guys will take over a territory just like the lions do. They're very territorial, and once these guys move in, that's it. They're there to stay for the most part. That's why we have to do our job. But let's fillet this guy and see what's in his belly. What we're going to do is take these shears here, just as a precaution. We're going to cut off where those hypodermic needle-like spines are lying so we don't get stabbed by this thing and envenomated. That's the worst thing that would really ruin my day. And we're just gonna clip off all these fins. Look at that. He can still envenomate us now, even though he has passed away. So it is still something we need to worry about. I just go ahead and take off all the fins because it's just safe to do it like that. There's one right there, look at that guy. Two of them, if I get this blade up under, you can see they're all hiding within the fins. And that's the problem is these guys have no natural predators down here because when the snapper or grouper try to eat them, if they hit those spines, they cannot actually get them down. As much as those fish are really good hunters, these guys just have the best defense mechanism built in on them. They're very slow moving. They're very easy for another fish to capture if they were to be able to eat them but that defense mechanism built in is just insane. These guys, if we were to get injected by one of these spines and not cut them off, we would have a tremendous amount of pain, nausea, and maybe even paralysis. Those are what has been found with the different cases of people that have accidentally gotten stung, different divers, people who have harvested them, but look how thick his belly is. Now that we got all those fins out of the way, we can take the knife just here. And there's actually more meat on this guy than you would think. If you guys want to see us catch a bunch of lionfish and feed them to the whole lion pride, then comment down below. Right now we just have this one. We didn't have much time today, but there's definitely a lot more out there. So if you guys want to see that, I would be really interested, but I don't know how they're going to react to this fish. So I guess we'll have to see that first. And just like that, usually if you're eating it, you might take the skin off, but I don't think the lions are going to mind. I think that skin actually holds a lot of beneficial nutrients for them. We'll flip this guy on over. We start here again. And there we go. We've got the sides off. That is the big juicy meat part, but look at his stomach. He's got some crazy stuff in here. Oh, we're going to open it up see what we can find guys if this is a little tough for you to watch i'm sorry but it can be educational to learn what these guys are eating this looks like a big fish yep that is a big fish right there got the head and you get the body this is the head and this would be the body it's really uh really decomposed what is this in here? Is this like air a bladder. air bladder right here? Just pop that. You could probably feed some of this stuff out to the cats as well. This organ meat is very good for them. 
So we're gonna open this up here. Like I said, guys, this can be a little bit gross, a little bit uh, different than the content we usually have on the channel. If you guys are new, I encourage you to check out some of the other amazing videos with the animals here at ZWF Miami and around the world. Usually we're working with the lions or the chimpanzee here. We're not gonna give them this carcass, even though we've clipped off those fins, I just don't feel safe. There's not really a reason to push the boundary there and have any risk for a, a problem with these guys. We obviously don't want that, but we've got our pieces here. We've got the white lion girls here and they're patiently waiting. Come on, let's see what we think about lionfish. This is similar to you, but from the ocean. What do you think about this? What do you think about this? Stinky face? Here you go. What is that? That's stinky. That is so stinky. Oh goodness. Look at that, all the organ meat there. Let's see, you wanna try this? Look at that. She's thinking about it. We got lots of flies here this time of year. Oh, there we go. Oh, down the hatch. I wanted to see if Max or the Liger boy Zeus wanted to come up. Hey, big pretty girls, big pretty ladies. She said, I'm not really interested in that, but Dana over here is loving it. We've got Max up there right behind me, if you guys can see. He is our big lion boy and he's got that mane just like the lionfish have that beautiful spread out look to them. That's how they're similar, that's how they get their name. But guys, we are gonna be wrapping up this video here. It's not so crazy because Max doesn't wanna come down. Oh goodness, oh goodness, look at this. We got a big tongue licking here. Oh yeah, here you go, here you go. Oh, we got lion love going on. The two sisters are loving on each other. Come on. All right, we'll give it to her. Big lionfish piece. There you go. And down the hatch, guys. I think she loved that lionfish snack, did you? Did you like that? Such a healthy snack. Definitely not gonna fill up a lion. She's gonna get more chicken and steak and other stuff today, I'm sure. But that is gonna close out today's video. If you guys wanna see more, like I said, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.